For this video, we're going to try to figure out what saving is if we know what disposable income and consumption are. Now, disposable income is the money we have left over after taxes. So if I earn $400 this week and the government takes $100 in taxes, my disposable income is $300. So there's only two things I can do with my disposable income. I can spend it or I can save it. When we have when we spend it, we call that consumption. So my Disposable income has to equal consumption plus saving. There's nothing else we can do with our income other than spend it or save it. Okay, so for disposable income, if we don't have any, we're still going to have some consumption. So let's say we have zero disposable income. We're going to consume 60. That's our autonomous consumption. Autonomous meaning independent of. So if disposable income is zero and consumption is 60, to make this formula work, then saving has to be negative 60. Negative 60 plus 60 equals zero. So if disposable income is 100 and consumption is 140, then saving is going to be negative 40. And then if disposable income is 200 and consumption is 220, saving is going to be negative 20. And then if disposable income is 300 and consumption is 300, then we have zero for saving and then disposable income of 400 and consumption 380, then we finally have positive saving. Um, every time saving is negative, we call that dis-saving, and then we have saving. So as you can see, as disposable income increases, consumption increases and saving increases.